Hello, third grade. Welcome to Tuesday's math lesson 1.9. We are going to learn a bit about mental math strategies for subtraction. So I'm going to teach you some different methods of how you can maybe do subtraction problems using just your head. So I'm going to briefly show you these strategies. I won't spend too terribly long on them. Um, these are just strategies I want you to be aware of and to know how to use in case you ever need to. So we're going to look at unlock the problem first. A sunflower can grow to be very tall. Dylan is 39 inches tall. She watered a sunflower that grew to be 62 inches tall. How many inches shorter was Dylan than the sunflower? So I don't know if any of you have ever seen sunflowers before, like actually planted in a field, but they can get very, very tall. So what we're gonna do to solve this problem, 62 minus 39, we're going to use number lines. So we can count by tens and then ones. So we have a number line from 39 to 62. So basically what they do in part A, they count by tens first. So we add 10 to 39 to get to 49. And then we go from 49 to 59, another 10. So, so far we've got 20. And then we go three more. And then we get to 62. Okay. So basically what we're doing, we're going backwards, right? So we're trying to figure out how many it takes to get from... 39 back to 62. So we're kind of going backwards. Instead of doing 62 minus 39 and putting 62 over here on this side, we're starting at the smaller number and working our way back to the bigger number. Okay? But then there's another way we can also do what they're doing here in part B. We can take away 10 then once. So then this time we're starting at 32 right here. And then, I think here's 32. And then here's 23. We're starting here. So basically, we're going to think, oh, sorry. Now I'm getting myself backwards. Sorry, guys. I just realized what they're doing. Okay. So we're starting at 62 on the right this time. And then we're going to count back 39. Okay. So we're going to count back from 10 all the way down to 52. Okay. And then we got to count down another 10 to get to 20. So remember, we're, count we're counting back 39. So we got to do another 10. Now we're at 30. And then, so see how we ended up at 32? Okay, so now we're going to count back two more to get the 30, a nice round number. Okay, so now we're at 32, so we need seven more. We're going to count back seven more. And then we end up at 23. Okay, so 62 minus 39 is 23. Okay, so if you don't want to go to all the trouble of making a number line, uh, there is another way that you can do mental math. You can also use friendly numbers. So if we're subtracting 74 minus 28, what we can do is we can make these numbers friendlier. So we can make the number we subtract a friendly number. So how do we do that? Well, now look at 28 first. We're adding 2 to it. So that way we make it a nice round number. We turn it into 30. Okay, so, but since we added two to 28, well, we have to make up for that somehow. Now we have to add two to 74. So now we're gonna make it 76. 
because it's got to be even on both sides, right? So then we're going to find the difference. So 74 minus 28 is now going to become what? 76 minus 30. Okay. So let's think 6 minus 0 is going to just be 6. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. Sorry, my smart board's messed up in some places. That should be a 46. All right. So that means we're going to be about at 46. Okay. So that's our answer. All right, so right now you're probably thinking none of this makes any sense, but I'm going to do another one and hopefully it'll start to make more sense. So we're going to use friendly numbers again to subtract uh, 36 minus 9. So think that 9 is 1 less than 10, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to the 9 to make that a 10. And then we just subtract 36 minus 10, right? So then it's 26. Okay, but since we added 1 to that 9, we have to do something about that. We have to make up for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to the 26. And then we get 27. And there we go. So our answer is 27. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, but why would I add the one back in again? Because I just added one to the second digit. Shouldn't I subtract it? No. See, this is where a lot of kids get confused. Um, so notice that nine is second. So we are taking nine away from 36, right? So if we add one to it, well, we're going to have to do it a second time because we're subtracting more than what we did before. So basically that's why we add the one again. All right. Okay. So you can also use a break apart strategy and, um, I find that a lot of kids find this easier than what I just showed you. So basically what you can do is start with the hundreds place. So we're looking at 458 minus 136. So we just start with our hundreds. 400 minus 100 is 300. Okay, now we gotta look at the tens next. So 50 minus 30 is 20. Oh, sorry. Um, and then we go out to the ones, eight minus six, this is two. And then you have to add them all together. 300 plus 20 plus two. So 300 plus 20 is 320, 320. Okay. So a lot of kids find that method to be easier because it's basically what you do already when you normally subtract only this time you're just breaking it apart by place value. All right. So I'm gonna skip ahead here to your homework. Okay, so guys, um, if this one isn't too stressful, um, a lot of strategies when I cover it, I just, I use multiple choice questions. Um, I just want you to be aware of the different strategies that you can use to do mental math. Um, but really all I'm looking for is that you know how to subtract, you know how to regroup your numbers when you need to. So as long as you can do that, then we are golden. 